Innovation brought us Global Positioning Systems Technology, otherwise known as GPS. We found another version of GPS here in New York, one that's guiding students who are in danger of dropping out. It's a program called Graduate, Prepare, Succeed. The United Way of New York City funds counselors and classes that bring one-on-one -on -one help to ninth graders who are chronically absent from school. Why ninth graders? Well, because according to the Department of Education, almost 40% of New York City students starting ninth grade don't graduate four years later. Our story is part of American Graduate, a public media initiative supported by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting to help local communities find ways to keep students on the path to graduation. My name is Giselle Pena. I'm a student at Newtown High School. What caused my absences, my freshman year, my father left the house and left with some other woman. I wasn't really used to my dad not being there. So I was very rebellious. I didn't really want to listen to teachers or even come into school because I felt like, why should I? My name is Kazuko Sakamoto. I'm an educational counselor at Newtown High School. The first time I met Giselle was last year. I remember she came into our office. I asked her, you know, what made her come in. My siblings' education isn't, they didn't really get to finish high school. Um, my sister got pregnant. My brother ended up, kept getting like, arrested and stuff. They seemed to not want to do anything with themselves and I, I told myself, I don't want to be like them. I want to graduate with my class. I just, you know, I want to get it done. I want to um, give my mom that joy of that one kid at least graduating high school. Our main goal, what we want to do, is to be able to have these students in our program to graduate on time within the four years. Just meeting her, I don't know, she just had like this glow. She's like, wow, I think she's going to be my, my new buddy in school. When I got used to going every day, going to the office, I'll sometimes sit down, do homework, or just talk about what I did the day before. You could keep it that way and then explain my own words. She started being more uh, vocal about her needs with me, but also with teachers. Usually she wouldn't say anything when she was, she missed a class or missed homework. Or she, if she forgot her homework or she needed to do extra credit, she would actually go up to the teacher and ask for extra work or extra credit. I accomplished about like two years in one year. It took a lot of work, stress. At a point, I felt like I didn't want to do it anymore, but I was just so close. I'm like, I can't give up now. And I had a lot of support, once again, with Ms. Sakamoto. And she helped me out so much. And she said, you saw, you're almost there. You're almost there. I feel like a lot of students can relate to her story because, um, I mean, statistics show that a lot of students are behind their credits. Uh, they don't graduate within the four years. If I were to say thank you to Ms. Sakamoto, it would be thank you so much for supporting me and helping me get through all of this, for understanding me and for always telling me you could do it, don't give up, and giving me that push that I needed that I didn't even get from home. You were you're like a mom to me, and thank you so much. Giselle Pena not only made it through her high school years with the help of the GPS program and her counselor, this fall, she'll be a freshman at LaGuardia Community College, and that makes her the first in her family to go to college.